While you were celebrating May the 4th be with you, you might have missed Cassini's first dive, the prosthetic hand that can see, and the week's top headlines. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we'd rather live with mice than have to get anywhere near this giant mousetrap replica. When these springs are fully tightened, you really have to fight that bar back, and trust me, you do not want to end up underneath it. Yeah, nothing about that seems safe. Pause those adorable cat videos and check out the latest footage coming from the Cassini spacecraft, which recently completed its first dive in between Saturn's famed rings. NASA has pulled together the images gathered by Cassini into an incredible video that starts at the planet's north pole and passes down its side. The bright swirls you see in the video are storms, and Cassini's imaging team expects to get even better data as the craft continues to gather information on the planet's gravity and magnetic fields on subsequent dives before it's pulled down into the atmosphere in September. Modern prosthetic arms are controlled by myoelectric signals, electrical activity read from the surface of the stump that activates the hand to open or close. But a team of researchers from Newcastle University has built a robotic hand that thinks for itself. It's equipped with a small camera and has been trained via neural network to recognize different classes of objects. When the user reaches out for an item, the camera sees what they're going for, feeds that data into the AI, which recognizes the object and adjusts the hand's grip to one of four pre-programmed positions. With it, users will be able to use their prosthetics in a more natural manner and without having to actively think about what they're trying to do. Get your heart out, Ash. And now, TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Facebook has begun selling low-cost Wi-Fi in India. Apple pledged to invest $1 billion in American manufacturing. 17 NBA squads will participate in the inaugural NBA 2K E-League. Google Docs was hit with a massive phishing scheme this week. And the last Ringling Brothers Circus will be streamed on Facebook Live. Enjoy Revenge of the Sith.